Alright, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to redo the Breach Hardpoint tutorial because the first and third hills did actually change. Uh, this happened a while ago, but it's, like I said, doing a remastered anchoring series, so a lot of things have changed. Uh, this is the only map, though, that actually has a different hardpoint rotation than the first time. But uh, I'm going to change it up a little bit. For each hill, I'm going to go over spawns and what you need to watch. So, for the first hill, and how I play it, rather. So, for the first hill, uh, coming off Broken Side... There are a couple different ways to play this. Um, the one that I started doing because, uh, you know, it's just better on your team because you can make the guy that goes top by C essentially useless. Um, is I will come top broken. Normally I'll throw a trophy over just to uh, to stop the nades that teams start throwing over because they want to get the person that rushes the hill weak so it's easier to break. So, um, off the rip, normally what I'll do is I'll throw this trophy and then I'll just hold the right side of the shack so my team only has to worry about the one door and then maybe Nick or uh, somebody else will be out front holding the left side. So. There are a couple different ways to play this, like I said, so you can play the more safe way. Um, you can rush the right side, so like when you come top broken, you can slide in this corner, and you can watch the lower wall run that teams have started prioritizing, or you can just like try to watch the left AC, because uh, sometimes teams will send an AR there as well. Or you can just do what I like to do, but don't do anymore, is I'll just challenge the top AC guy, or uh, the guy coming up from outskirts. So uh, as the hill is winding down here, maybe like 25, 30 seconds, what a common mistake, at least in my opinion, is trying to break through Porter for first hill. Um, this is like I said, this thing has changed. So if you spawn bottom green and you try to break Porter, unless you get like a decent spawn with like 30 seconds left, and you want to early rotate, because their chances are there's already going to be an AR player over there, and they can rotate over to cages really easily. Um, so it's just not worth it in my opinion. So I'd rather what we do is we'll break through middle. Like as a team, we'll get all the scrap time as you possibly can, and then we'll push through lab. It's just easier in my opinion. You get better spawns, and if you do a good team push, you can force them all the way out Porter side. When you break through lab, you want to probably split push, maybe send two outskirts to try to bait these guys out of the back so the people in lab can kill them. Or you just want to flood through lab, maybe get to the back, hit side door, whatever you guys want to do. But your priority is breaking these back spawns because you'll spawn here. That's bad. common sense. Say you have control of this hill, you're an AR player, you don't know where to sit. So if you have somebody in the hill that isn't you because you can play the hill, you can play the line of sights on the hill, um, they're actually pretty good. You can hold the back. You can't really hold the back, but you can call out for your subs to maybe challenge around the back. Um, you can watch front from the hill, watch back from the hill, and you can hold the wall run cross. Say they're flooding through lab to try to break the back after you just did it. Uh, you can sit side door as well if you're not in the hill. Uh, you can just hold the front right here. Or a different way, if you say you spawn out and they're, they actually successfully broke the back and you spawn green, it actually it isn't a terrible thing. You can just hold front with an AR. Uh, you can watch your wall run, the side door, and you can hold the, uh, the push around. And then your team can just double stack the hill with subs, and then they have two people worrying about one door. So that's pretty advantageous for you as well. And then um, off the rotation here, now this is crucial here, guys. They're going to spawn out green, and then they're going to get that early rotation in a broken or through middle map. So early rotate for this hill, because this is the money hill on this map. So cages is as well, if you know how to hold it properly, you can get a really good chunk of time as well. But palace is the hill on this map that you're going to win most games on. So you're going to rotate through couches, which is the more advantageous position in my opinion. Um, you're going to early rotate. Now, they will be coming through broken because they're going to spawn green, so they'll go all the way around. They can cheat the rotation and come through middle, and they can flank your top AC to hold the cutoffs uh, for the teams that may be, or for the players that already may be in the hill. So you have to be worried about that. So say you're off rotation right here. There's about 20, 30 seconds left. You want to hold either. There's a couple ways you can play this. You can cut off middle map. If you have somebody with you, this is what I would suggest. Uh, maybe send that player into the hill, or you can double push it. Um, get those rotation kills, cut them off middle map, because they might not expect you to be there already. Uh, you can double stack the hill, and then they're definitely be coming through broken side, or they could already be in the hill. So just set up in couches, maybe pre-aim it, try to get those line of sight kills. Um, come and hold middle, because they're going to be coming through there. Or you can just double stack the hill, play corners, and hold it, maybe play trades, but that's a little little more risky if they have like heat wave or a camo or something like that. So uh, your job on this hill is, A, you could stack the hill here, like I said, and just like hold it depending on where they're spawning. B, you can actually play middle, which is a little better in my opinion because you can get these easy cutoff kills and then be flooding palace ramp. If you get these kills and you're still spawning couches side, uh, couches is that room if you guys weren't aware. Um, if you're spawning couches, they spawn out green and they spawn out back broken. So you just cut, the, uh, cut off middle map here. Sometimes teams will send two or three players through middle map, which is a strange play to, uh, to say the least, but you can get these kills relatively easily. And you... Ha Another thing about this is if you're spawning out green and you get those kills to come around here to get these palace spawns, if the hill just came up or it's like cages is barely ending, they're going to spawn outskirts. So you want to get here as quick as you can to get these cutoff kills because there'll be maybe someone top of C. So you, if your team's trying to come through middle and you want to kill that player, you can get here quickly. They're going to spawn outskirts, and these are actually pretty easy kills as well. If they have subs, they can't really kill you unless you choke shots. 
Anyway, off the rotation through Palace, uh, you want to push through here. Now your team will spawn couches behind you if you guys die off rotation. So make sure you're rotating out of the hill. Don't like double stack it and not realize. You got to worry about that on your minimap. That's every hill though. You have to be worried about that. Um, in specific, like this hill and um, Rocks Hill and Stronghold will spawn behind you guys. So you just make sure you rotate out of the hill because you don't want to have um, the less numbers than you need. Like two people are getting scrap time. But anyway, beside the point. So you'll be pushing through Broken Side to get these back spawns. Now these spawns are really, really good because you're going to spawn here every time. Like the chances of you spawning out when you have back control is really, really minimum. Unless you're the only one alive and they're like two people trying to push you through maybe bottom broken or top green. So where you want to be as an AR player on this hill is A, bottom broken, or B, top green. Or you can play the hill, which is a little less advantageous because you got to be wary of the heat wave camos. Um, because, you know, it's easy to pick up, or you can even cut off that player with the specialist before they even get the chance to use it. So, I like top green and bottom broken. Top green, because the spawns for this hill, they spawn out cages, they spawn out palace. Now, when you're holding top green, you easy line of sight kills through, because they're just going to rush through. Like, nobody ever checks this shit. As long as you don't peek yourself, like, you can play, maybe play behind the pillar, play behind the box, because then you can get those easy kills jumping across. Um, or they spawn palace. Now, the palace play... When you spawn out is A, you can cut through middle, or B, you can go around. Now, going around is a little less advantageous because, uh, I'll show you guys, the line of sights for watching the back palace rotation are really, really easy for AR players. Normally, this is what I do for uplink. I'll just sit up here, and you can just cut them off. As long as they don't hit that wall run, which is a little more unpredictable, but they're not, they're not going to do that off the back rotation. But then come through middle and bottom broken, so maybe you just play a corner bottom broken, head glitch statue or something like that. Or, like I said, you can just flood the hill and play the line of sights, which aren't terrible, but aren't the ideal situation for an AR player. So moving through the rotation for last hill, uh, you're going to want to rotate through Porter to fight these back spawns. Now, you're going to have a gunfight here 9 times out of 10 because they're, when they when you win that hill, they're going to spawn lab. They're already going to be there, already going to be set up. So you're going to have to break off the rip, basically. So when you come this way, you have to be weary. Now, there could be people in cages, which is where I like to play because it's a little less predictable than just like head glitching side door, which really isn't a head glitch. It's pretty easy to kill people there. Could be top Porter as well. So you're going to have a gunfight here. You just got to try to find that player and win that. And then get through cages and now get to the back. Now this is huge because if you get these back spawns, they're, you're literally going to spawn right here. So it's easy to flood this hill. Now they, their break is going to be they spawn out all the way across the map. And this hill is like grandma hill for fringe. It's all communication. It's just what you need to watch because they're going to spawn all the way back broken for this hill. Or they could spawn out green, which in that case you need to be watching Porter. So... <laughs> You and your team need to communicate what is open and what you need to watch as an AR. Now, where you should be is either B or A, watching Porter, B, top AC. You shouldn't be anywhere else. You could be in the hill, but it, it's a little less advantageous for you. So, hold middle map right here. Easy line of sight kills for you guys. If they spawn out broken, this is where you should be. But the thing here, you have to worry about your palace flank. It's maybe one player will hit that, or if they team commit to it, it's a little less predictable, but you shouldn't have to worry about that. Um, so that we're coming through middle map, if you know they're spawning out broken, or say you get these kills palace side and you know they're spawning out green, just rotate over here, hold maybe that head glitch, which I don't really like because it's a little bit more predictable. You can sit in cages and just shoulder peek the door, and you should be able to get a kill there. <laughs> so off the rotation to middle hill, I'm going to go through it one more time for you guys on both sides like I normally do. So say you're like spawning a AC side, I always come top AC. It's just a better um, better break for me, plus Nick goes over there, uh, right AC, so it's a, I shouldn't be over there. But I like top AC, easy to get that kill, easy to hold the left side. All they have to worry about is one door if they flood in, which is the same, same thing on the other side. It just depends on how you get their break off kills. So for the rotation through cages, you're going to want to hold this side of the map. This is huge. Now, their play to break you out of this their setup is coming through middle map or going porter. Someone could flank all the way around palace, which is what the smart play is to do because, you know, give up 10 seconds for 50, things like that. So they'll come through Palace. You have to be a little bit worried about that, but not till like the very, very end of the rotation, possibly when the hill is already up. So top AC, you should already be rotated over here. AR player shouldn't even be middle map. Your sub should be in lab. So the rotation for cages should already be over here, possibly in the hill even, which is where I like to be. Um, like I said, chances are they're not going to be coming through Porter, but you have to be a little bit worried about it because teams... Like uh, like I suggested at the beginning of the video, like to break through middle into lab. So it's a little easier to hold the hill from here because you can just call out, you know, maybe they're in this close right corner. And then like a sub like Danny or Jerry can just fly around, get that kill, and you can stay on the hill. And then that's when they spawn out Porter, so you have to be worried about that after you get the initial wave of kills. So and then the rotation for couches is the same thing as what uh, I went over before because you say you won that hill. Now let's go over it if you spawned out. So say you're spawning green or you spawn back broken. Here, I'll show you guys. So... You, uh, you just lost Cages Hill, so you're actually going to spawn, like, right here most times. So, your play can be to go around Broken and fight all the way around. And then they may already be there, like I uh, went over the first rotation, so you have to be a little bit careful of that. Or you can come through Middle Map to try to do what I said and cut, uh, cut off Middle Map and Top AC, which is what I'm, the play I normally make would be. 
so you can get over here but you have to be worried about uh, your AC right there and your outskirts but it's still pretty easy to hold so once you uh, get set up in palace uh, depending on what side your team is spawning on they can spawn outskirts and they can spawn broken they can come through middle map depending um, you know maybe that player decides to not flood and maybe get that split push through middle ramp so the rotation through palace gonna go around broken hold those back spawns and then in that case they will spawn behind you couches depending on when you get those kills uh, if the hill just came up they can spawn couches and uh, if the hill just came up as well or is about to, uh, the old hill is ending, they can spawn cages. So coming through middle map, hold your wall run if you're up here. Or just hold the back AC, which is also a really good power position. If you have like a trophy or something, they can't nade you out. It's really easy to stay alive back there. And maybe just bait it yourself for a sub. And then off the rotation for lab, just come through Porter. Make sure you win this gunfight. If there's nobody over here and you like literally just have a free ride to the back, that's huge. So just get through the back here, hold these spawns. Um, they will try to uh, flood through outskirts here as well, so you have to be a little bit careful of that because they're going to spawn out palace for this hill. And then uh, that's pretty much it, guys. So thank you all for watching. Uh, I'm probably going to do evac tomorrow, and then uh, I'll finish up with Stronghold. So thank you all for watching, and have a fantastic day.